Hi everyone, I am back. Today I thought it would be fun to do a little Q&A. So I put a little question box on my Instagram allowing you guys to ask me questions for this video and I have them ready to go. The first question says, do you think Hillsboro is going to have a prom or graduation? And graduation. I don't know enough information to be able to answer that question 110% correctly. My hope is that yes, we will be able to have a prom and graduation, um, but again, I can't say for sure. I don't know enough about how the virus is going, like if it's still spreading exponentially or if it's starting to decline in the number of cases. So. I hope we will, but when it comes to if I think we will or if I know we will, I have no clue. The next question says, how do you keep calm? How do you keep your calm with all of us? Um, so I am the kind of person, I have a lot of patience for certain things. And one of those things are high school students. Trust me though, I do get frustrated and stressed out sometimes but I do my very best not to show it in class. To be honest, you guys make me laugh. You guys, yes, you push my buttons and you test me, but I enjoy every second of it and I wouldn't do anything else with my day or with my life because I just, I enjoy being there with you guys and I enjoy seeing you grow, watching you make mistakes because it's gonna happen, everyone makes mistakes, and I love that I get to be there if you need help or if you reach out to me and ask me for advice. That's how I keep my calm is just knowing that in some way or another I am impacting you guys and your lives. So, but yes, you guys do stress me out sometimes. Next question, how was your first year of teaching, including the madness of this virus? Well, I'd like to think my first year of teaching is not over yet. Um, it's close though, I mean it's March and the end of the year is in May, so. But I have loved my first year of teaching. I am so, so grateful and thankful that I and at Hillsboro. At the beginning, I was super nervous. I remember clear as day, the first day of school, walking into first hour and just being like, okay. It was, I was so nervous the very first couple days. Um, but then like getting to know you guys and getting in the classroom and just getting into a groove really, really helped. And now I feel super comfortable I laugh at myself all of the time. So far, my first year has been wonderful. No complaints. Well, my only complaint is that I don't get to see you guys for a month and, you know, whatever. How, how many days? That definitely sucks because, you know, your first year as a teacher is kind of like having your first kid. Like, I'm never going to have my first year of teaching ever again. Like, this is it. This is my first year. And the fact that I have to spend it like this is terrible and I hate it so, so much. But it is what it is and I just, I'm trying to make the best of it. I'm trying to interact with you guys as much as I can without physically being with you because I don't want to get you sick and I don't want to get sick and I want this to stop. Yeah, so far my first year of teaching has been interesting, unpredictable, and I've loved every second of it. So the next one is not necessarily a question, it's more of a statement, more of a plea, if you will. Tell the teachers to stop giving us homework. I can see where you're coming from. However, you guys need things to do other than sitting on your phone, sitting in front of the TV, whatever. I promise you, the phone and the TV can get old. Believe it or not, they can. There's only so much Netflix you can watch. There's only so much Instagram feed you can scroll through. That is the reason that we are giving you guys these assignments. We're giving you these activities to, to keep your brains active, 
to keep your learning active because no matter what you do, you're always going to be learning something. I'm sorry to say, the teachers will not stop giving you homework. Don't think of it as homework. Think of it as enrichment activities over this weird period of time that is there to help you. That's all I got on that. Next question is favorite artist, singer, or band? I don't think I could pick. I listen to a wide variety of music. Really the only genres of music that I don't listen to are heavy metal, screamo, and like super techno, electronic -y sounding music. All kinds of different music I'll listen to it. So I don't really think I have a specific favorite. Next question is, where did I meet my husband? My husband and I met at church. Uh, we were in the same youth group together. We grew up in the same youth group together. Yeah, we met at church. <laughs> How did I feel when I got thrown into the role of a coach mid-dance season? Little story time here for you. Kind of goes along with how my first year of teaching has been very unpredictable. So I started teaching in August and then I guess it was October or November. It was October. I was called down to the office. I was asked if I would like to step in as one of the coaches for our school's dance team because the previous coach had decided to leave mid-season. I said yes. So now I am one of the coaches for the high school dance team at our school. So how did I feel being thrown into that mid-season? Again, I was very nervous. I was intimidated, to be honest. Whenever you're thrown into a situation where you are the coach or the leader or the guardian of a bunch of teenage girls, that can be a very intimidating thing. But I was also very excited. I was also very grateful because I had interviewed for the middle school dance position, dance team coach position, didn't receive it, and now I know why. Because there was a spot for me that I didn't know about yet on the high school team. Despite feeling nervous and intimidated, I was also very, very excited because I was on dance team and I was in high school and I loved every second of it. Um, and I still have a very strong passion for dance. And so being able to put the role of a teacher and the role of a coach into one, while also keeping up with my love and passion for dance was just amazing. And yeah. Um, the next question is from my sister. She says, what kind of question is your favorite question? A rhetorical question. The next question is, where do I see myself in the next few years? I hope I am still teaching. I also hope that I have a child. I really want some children soon. I'm, I'm happy where I am right now. I feel very content in my situation. Yeah, hopefully I'm still teaching in the next few years. Hopefully still at Hillsboro. Um, and hopefully with some little babies. We'll see. The next question is, what was your favorite thing about being on a dance team? My favorite thing about being on a dance team was being surrounded by people who shared the same passion that I did and who expressed themselves in the same way that I did. Uh, when it comes to dance. I also really enjoyed building those relationships with the team and just creating and sharing so many fun memories. Also just performing. Whenever you perform as a team and you know that you all are there for the same reason. That... Excuse me, I was in the middle of answering a question. But when you're all there performing and you are doing it for the same reason that you just love to dance and it's your passion and you feel so much joy when you're doing it, that is the one thing that I think was such a cool experience is just having 
is just being surrounded by those people and in that performance you're all united as one with that same passion and love for the thing that you do together. Um, yeah. That's all the questions that I'm going to answer for this video. If you have any other questions, you can leave them below and I'll answer them in the comments. I hope you guys are doing good. I'll be honest, it's, it's getting hard for me. Um, they just extended the date to where we go back to school is now the 27th rather than the 6th. It's a very weird situation. I'm really, really trying to stay positive about everything. Yeah, it's just, it's hard. And don't feel like you guys are the only ones who are struggling with this. Don't feel like you're the only ones who hate it. Um, I hate it just as much as you guys do. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I miss you guys a lot. And, um, I wish we could just be in our room right now and spending this time together rather than having to do stuff like this and I don't even know if you guys are, you know, Nigel and I don't even know if you guys are interacting or participating. I can, I can see if you turn stuff in but like I miss knowing that you guys are there and I miss just seeing you guys and just having a face to talk to. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. Just that it's it's weird. Um, but we just have to remember that it's not gonna be like this forever. We're gonna see each other again. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So just stay positive. Don't just sit in front of the TV. Talk to people. Email each other. Facetime each other. Talk to me. Um, I get lonely too. That's all for me. I will see you in another video. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do next. I'm trying to come up with some ideas. Um, but I just want to keep doing something to, again, keep my brain going and keep me active and um, not just sitting and waiting for your guys' emails or questions or whatever. So I do have a box cake mix. Maybe I'll film a video of me baking a cake. Leave me some ideas if you don't want to see me baking a cake. Um, Alright guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye.